Hey everybody, Movies and TVs on the ball here, Steve-O coming at you. Just wanting to ask you, with the release of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, the sequel, which I discussed the first one in our video previously, got me thinking about Michael Keaton. Now, I talked about Michael Keaton before in films such, most, most recently talking about him in Batman, but what was your favorite role that he has been in since he's been an actor. Did you like him in Mr. Mom? Were you a fan of him in the great film Birdman? Do you feel like he's one of the best Batman or the definitive Batman? Um, was it, did you enjoy him in, as the villain, as a vulture in Spider-Man um, Homecoming? Did you enjoy him and his more uh, comedic roles such as what I remember Seeing him in, in Jack Frost, where he played um, Jack Frost, the guy that turned into a snowman. But, um, or were you a fan of him in the 80s film, Mr. Mom? Um, I just was kind of curious to see what, um, uh, you know, what films, you know, with Michael Keaton and such as his long career, what roles did you enjoy him in the most? Um... I know he did a really good job in the film Spotlight, so he's had his drama, dramatic section, but he's also done really good comedies. Uh, one comedy that doesn't really get talked about is probably Multiplicity, which was more of a comedy that starred Andy McDowell and his, him being uh, cloned, and I think each clone was a little bit different than the other one. Um, what uh, the other... Um, I mean, you know, I mean, it's still, he still always be Batman to a lot of people, especially Batman and Robin, or not Batman and Robin, Batman Returns, where he played the Penguin, I don't know if you saw him uh, at the, um, uh, or some award show where Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito showed up and talked about, um, you know, and he was like, hey, look, it's our enemy, Michael Keaton's Batman. Um, uh, I was just kind of curious. I mean, of course, Beetlejuice, which I feel like is one of, you know, watching it, watching it and kind of excited to see how the sequel is going to turn out. I kind of think Michael Keaton is sort of perfect for, for Beetlejuice, of course. And then... Um, you know, he was in, I mean, he's also, I liked him, you know, in supporting roles, such as in the other guys, where he played the, um, the captain who worked at Bed Bath & Beyond, which I thought was hilarious. Um, let me know what your favorite Michael Keaton roles are below, and, um, let's get a dialogue going. Is there any role that you, um, yeah, there's a lot of roles that I probably haven't mentioned. Please comment below, uh, which roles you liked him the best. Um, and, um, what roles do you, th uh, what films did you enjoy the best? Do you think he would have been great in the Batman Forever and Batman and Robin, uh, if they would have done a third, if he would have done a third and fourth Batman film? Um, um, did you like him in Batman Returns? Did you feel like he was, uh, speaking of other characters he's been in, did you enjoy him in, um, I guess those are the characters that I know him mostly in, but I did like him in, as a vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming, and I thought that was a really good twist. So, um, and the fact that he shows up again in Morbius, was a nice wink, but uh, let me know what your favorite Michael Keaton role is, and as always, like and subscribe. Peace.